Hello, I'm Nick Poulin, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at an extremely rare and desirable German World War I Mauser bolt-action single-shot anti-tank rifle. World War I inaugurated static trench warfare on a larger scale than previous wars, resulting in new conditions and problems. Machine gun and sniper positions were well dug in and tended to be protected by armor plating, and there were early attempts to produce personal body armor. These plates were dealt with at first by using very high-powered sporting rifles, and if the plates were not penetrated, they could simply, to paraphrase a British officer, be bashed in. The German army developed a steel cord armor piercing bullet for their 8mm rifle and machine gun called this SMK bullet. This bullet though was not very effective against the tanks that were introduced by the British at the Battle of Somme in September of 1916. Tank armor averaged between a quarter of an inch to a half an inch in thickness and while it could sometimes be penetrated at close range by the steel cord SMK ammunition, this was not always reliable. The Germans at this time were developing a heavy version of the Maxim machine gun chambered for the newly developed 3.2 by 92 semi-rimmed cartridge. This cartridge was chosen for the new anti-tank rifle using a steel cord armor piercing bullet. The velocity was given at 2,580 feet per second. This allowed to penetrate approximately one inch of armor at 100 meters at a 90 degree angle and nearly three quarters of an inch at 500 meters, a truly potent round indeed. The crew consisted of a gunner and an ammunition carrier who were cross-trained to do either job. The rifle gave the German soldier a means of dealing with tanks without the necessity of calling on artillery which might be engaged with other tasks. They were used by both the Imperial German Empire and the Weimar Republic. Some reportedly even served in Sweden. Reportedly, approximately 15,000 of these rifles were produced, although very few are around today. The receiver is marked with the Mauser banner trademark and the date of 1918 on the top of the receiver ring. This humongous rifle is basically a scaled up Mauser action with two additional locking lugs and weighs in at approximately 41 pounds and measures over 5 foot 6 inches in length. The barrel band incorporates a horizontal plate that accommodates an 0815 machine gun bipod and the tangent rear sight is graduated to only 500 meters. This outstanding original example has all matching numbers with standard imperial proofs and showing a great overall appearance. The stock is very fine with well struck markings and the bore is bright with sharp lands. This is a truly outstanding example of a 1918 Mauser anti-tank rifle that was formerly from the collection of Dr. Geoffrey Sturgis. If you like this video and want to learn more about quality collectible military firearms, then visit our website at poolinauctions.com. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, stay safe, and send it downrange.